Fit Raiders, it's Monsi. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, George and I are going to be showing you guys how we study for our grad exams over the summer. So George is taking the LSAT, which is for law school, and I'm taking the DAT, which is for dental school. So as we're entering our third year at Texas Tech, we are navigating how to study for these exams over the summer right before that. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys sort of the approach that we have when it comes to taking this exam and how we study for it on a day-to-day. -day. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm currently walking Gunner right now. Um, say hi, Gunner. But I thought I'd give you a couple of updates about my journey or my process. So uh, I'm taking the LSAT in August. Um, so I'm about two months out and they just got rid of a section on the LSAT, logic games. And so I have been studying for the logic reasoning section and the reading comprehension section. I struggle a little bit more with the reading comprehension section. So I've been honestly putting more hours into that. But currently right now my laptop is broken. And so if I want to do online stuff um, or study online, I have to go to the library and use one of the desktops there. Today I'm gonna be reading, uh, I have two textbooks. I'm gonna be reading two of those textbooks cause I'm still in like the early process of it. Um, just trying to gain some more skills and then Later on, I'll be going to the library and doing some online work. But right now, I am gonna finish my walk with Gunner, go get lunch, and then and then start studying. So let's go. <laughs> it's really fun. Hey vlog, okay, so I'm at Paint Rock right now and I'm about to start studying. Again, like right now, like I don't have a laptop, so I would be kind of doing like online work or having like my notes online, but because my laptop's broken, I'm just me writing my notes in my notebook from last semester. There's like a lot more pages that are open, but usually I'd be keeping my notes online just because it, you can like kind of take them on the go. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna be reading my this is the PowerScore LSAT Comprehension Bible. It was actually free, given to me by a friend. She's currently studying for her LSAT too. But yeah, so she had given me this because she didn't really need it anymore. So it is kind of like, there are a couple pages in here that I like already worked through, but I just try and like still get the concepts because I can always take like more practice tests online. Uh, but for this book, I'm really just trying to get the concepts and really just trying to focus on reading. So yeah, I do have my other one. This is the, LSAT Logical Reasoning Bible. I haven't dove too much into this one, so I don't really have like like any recommendations or, yeah, I just don't know too much about this one yet, but if you know anything about it, leave some comments down below and let me know what you think. Um, if you're studying for the LSAT right now, let me know what you're studying with and, and yeah. Okay, so let's get studying. By the way, um, when I'm studying or like reading things like this, I like to put like a timer on, probably like Pomodoro method, 25 minutes and then five minute break. Just so that I have like kind of like a goal that I'm reaching for. Yeah. Good morning guys, it's about 10 o'clock right now and it's a little bit of a later start to my day just because I slept a little later last night but I got up, I got ready and I just ate breakfast so now all I gotta do is sit down and study for majority of the day. I would say I spend about maybe five to six hours max studying a day so 
this summer is kind of boring for me. It's really dedicated to practicing this exam and making sure that I get a good score so that I don't have to retake it. So that's pretty much the plan for today. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys right now kind of the little study routine that I have going on. Usually I study at home just because my parents aren't here. They're at work and I am studying with my sister. She's about to be a senior in high school and she's taking her SAT, I think in August, which is when I'm taking my exam. So we kind of use each other for accountability and I'm here and she's right next to me studying. So I like that a lot, but I just sit at our dining table and we get stuff done during, I would say probably early morning, maybe 10 to three or four o'clock-ish just before my parents get home. So then we can just chill and hang out for the rest of the day. But while I'm here at the dining table, I'm just studying for my DAT. And usually I either do Pomodoro or I'll show you in a second, we have specific to-do lists. So after I do a task, I'll take a break and then I'll come back. But with Pomodoro, I usually do 25 work and then five minute break, or I do 50 minutes of work and then a 10 minute break. It just depends on how productive I am that day. But right now I'm gonna show you the online platform that I'm using and how I kind of study during my day to day. Okay, so the platform I use is DAT Bootcamp and the DAT is kind of similar to the MCAT, but it's a little bit different on the section. So we all have bio, gen chem, ochem, and then there's a perceptual ability section and there's a reading comprehension and a quantitative reasoning section, which is just your basic reading and math. So that's what I've been studying and that's what I'm gonna be studying throughout the summer. And one thing I like about this online software is that it mimics the actual exam. Our exam is online, so we do take it on laptops that are at the testing center. So the fact that I'm able to do everything online and sort of simulate that testing environment is really, really helpful for me. And I also like that I don't have to read information off of a textbook. I can also watch the lectures if I wanted to. So watching it, doing practice problems in a way that prepares me for the exam has been really, really helpful to me. And another resource that's been helpful to me is their condensed calendar and their specific to-do list. So, so when I'm studying for each different section or I'm going to different lectures, I obviously take notes. So right now I have Gen Chem pulled up. I just have a bunch of notes that I've taken so far. For the PAT, I just do a bunch of practice problems because that's the only way that you learn. So this is another little bit of a note section that I've started for some of the problems I didn't understand. And then obviously bio, has a lot of information. I haven't even gone through the thick of it, but still a lot of information, but that's sort of how I go through the lectures. And then when it comes to completing tasks, one thing that I like is that it has a calendar schedule. So you can erase the dates here and then you can just switch the date to fit your own schedule and sort of schedule yourself in a way that leads up to your exam. So for example, if I were to go to, let's say, day 33, um, it'll tell you a little bit of what you need to do that day. So you need to read or watch the chapter 11 section for bio. You have to watch the chapter four um, videos one through four for OCHEM. And then you're going to take the Gen Chem practice test two. So those three things combined would take about three to five hours a day, which honestly is a good chunk of my day. And my summer is pretty dedicated to studying for this exam only, so my time flies by pretty fast every day, which in my opinion is a lot easier than just sitting around and either waiting for my parents to get home or trying to think of something to do to pass my time. So I really, really like this calendar outline. It'll go for month one, month two, and month three. So in month three, you just have a bunch of review tests and the next day you just go over um, what you kind of got wrong and understanding why you got that wrong or if you need to review that information, then you have that second day to do that. But I also like that I get a to-do list. So what day were we doing here? I think we were doing day 33. If I go to day 33, it gives you a specific task list that it wants you to, to complete. So obviously you have reader watch for bio, um, and then you answer the practice problems after each lecture. And then the one that goes over all the material that you go through, which is basically these bio bites right here. And then again, watch those organic chemistry videos, answer the questions after each lecture video, and then take that practice exam. And then with that practice exam, you can review those solutions or those answers that you got wrong um, the next day. So that's something that I really, really like about this program. It's that it schedules it for you. Whereas if I were just studying from a book, it'd be hard for me to schedule my own self, but being able to cross things off a to-do list is really satisfying for me and makes me feel productive. If you're deciding whether or not to do paper or an online platform, just keep that in mind and see if they outline it some way for you. So 
yeah, that's pretty much all that I do in a day. Before I start studying, I'm gonna do a few warm up questions. I like to do that just to get my brain a little warmed up. And even if it's something that I don't know, um, I can learn from it. So right now I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to get into the thick of studying for the day. But I hope you guys found that part useful and yeah. That pretty much wraps up this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it useful. And if you guys have any tips that we didn't talk about in this video while you're studying or you were studying for these kinds of exams, definitely comment them down below. And also if you have any questions, George and I would be more than happy to answer them down in the comments, but make sure to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. We are uploading every Thursday over the summer and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.